I know the way for the guys to be a champion or fighting with the best guys in the world. I, I'm him work, working together, the best event in the world for so long. And the, the difference in the guys who want to be a champion and the guys who be a champion, sometimes no, it's so, so big. You need, to, you, need to, you need just direction. Okay, sometimes the guy have a lot of talent but, but, but going to the wrong way. Understand? The training is like you need to have one, one coach, Kiluvian, looking at his style and, and, and help you for staying in the and stay in our best condition. This is a really, really important. The eyes of your coach. Who gonna train you? Is like what structure you gonna train? Who serious you go? You want to train? You understand? Because everybody wanna to fight a main event in UFC and one, one, two, three million. So who don't want? Everybody want. But who wanna to pay the price for this? What do you think? It's easy, man. It's a real tough. This is a reason because for his small. Little, you know, too much people going there because it's so hard. We don't live, man. We just train, eat, and sleep every day. We don't have time for nothing, 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 nothing. Every day hurt, injured. Today, my body pays so much. I train so much. I train a lot this week. And this weekend, he coming to, to, to give the class for us. It's tough. But it's possible for one. It's possible for all. Okay? You need to believe in your potential. You need to know how, what, so you really want this, understand? These are the first thing. And after, sweat so much. Welcome for everybody. Vamos um clima agora, quer ver? Kish, lá na frente do trem. Lógico, lógico. Vamos deixar as câmeras de lado, entendeu? First thing is, uh, for me, it's going to honor everybody come here today. It's, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's uh, not believe because I opened the gym in March, and now, look, I look at the size of the guys. This is the, the, the style of the, the guys who work for us, no? Great, great guys. And, and the, everybody asks to me about what I need to do for to be a champion. Like the first thing is attitude. You need to be the first step. Like have a lot of talents staying at home now, afraid to come, or so far, or I don't know. But you need to believe in your, your potential. This is the first thing after having others, but this is the first. <laughs> I'm ready, man. Okay, guys, everybody gonna count together. One, two, six, nine, seven, ah, go, 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 Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna turn for this. We're gonna choose the next step. We're gonna to test it. all guys. <laughs> all right. Two minutes. Two minutes round. Just for just for retraining. <laughs> okay. I wanna to. Um, I wanna to. I wanna to look at the guys in the real. Really wanna to train hard and uh, wanna to make a uh, have potential for to 
to be a champion in the future, no? This is the reason I I put a lot of selection, I select a lot of guys, because I'm thinking everybody have, a, have potential, but some guys need to train a little bit more. Little, 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 just coming more a few class, like a... Because for you to learn martial arts, you need time. It's impossible, you, you be a, you beat a... You go into the professional level and one, two years, some, sometimes you need more time. And uh, but uh, my gym here I give opportunity for all, for the guys, for the guys training. And, uh, and they're going to the next step. I'm gonna train with the few guys now, so to check what's gonna happen. I need training too. And, uh, we need to enjoy, no? I'm so happy looking a lot of guys and they are looking a lot of strong guys. It's great. This is I know him. He's so hard, the guy. Who who wanna to use it? Headgear, use headgear, no problem. Who have it? You wanna use it, use it. Who no have it, no use it. <laughs> who have it, use it. No have it, no use it. I go one second. I'm going there. I want to just, I want to have weight him. <laughs> My friend, just, just stand up. You have, you have a kiss. You put your mouth here. This, this guy, man, the guy don't have an arm, but man, the guy has good kicks. I can't, I can't wait for you to watch him. Look at him, this guy, this guy, man, this guy is tough. Huh? Tem que aguentar o sparring tá dentro. You guys ready? Thank you very much, Thank you. It's a real hard. And uh, I pass, uh, I wanted to pass for these guys. And uh, see, you wanted to be, you wanted to have a success in your life. For sure, you need to work hard. This is the rule number one, no? The, the rule number one. You, you need to, 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 to work real hard in your life. You need to be your best. You need to real suffer for to look in or to stay in the, in the top, because it's a, no, have one guy who stay in the top and stay in the top and never suffer, no? Because it's a, you, 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 for you to have success, you really, really need to work hard, because today have a lot of good fighters around the world, and any time is harder and harder, it's harder and harder to stay in the top. And if you want to stay in the top, you really need to, to train hard, these are rule number one. I'm, I'm fighting for 20 years. I, I make my first fight for 13, now I have 33. And uh, I bleed in uh, 20 minutes ago. It's normal, okay? No, no more normal. Used to it. Yeah, it's normal. normal. So it's part of life. Part of training, okay, part of being a fighter. Hurt is okay. We're going to look at the, the injuries now, no? It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> like a cirurgery, you know? Yeah, the injuries are just, you know, pain leaving the body. You guys get over it and keep training, you know? It's tough. It's everyday training. It's a no. So it's a key. It's no a lifestyle. Lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. You, it's you, a fighter you, lifestyle. You, you know, make a career in two, three years. No, it's all life. It's yeah. How, how long you train? Twenty-three years. A, então, não sei se você outra coisa. Então, how long you train? Fifteen. How old you train? How long? Twelve. Eight. Eight. But he is twenty years old. <laughs> 
I think the martial arts helped me so much with, uh, with uh, my bad things in my life. Because before I'm very shy and a uh, little fat, and I changed my, my body, I changed my mind with the martial arts. I'm having a real life of the fighter because I'm coming from the poor family. I'm fighting in these small shows. I'm starting to make money with this. I have a hard life. I'm working, I'm fighting. And uh, these are reasons because I have a lot of things for to forgive you for, for, my, for my fighters. A lot of good lessons. And, uh, and uh, I'm going to try to give my best. And uh, I'm going to try to give my best for these new fighters. For to one day, maybe I make one champion. My name is Philip Schranz. I'm Chad Sherman. My name is Jared Hopkins. Hello, I'm Chad Eisbiste. My name is Patrick uh, Valier. Uh, my name is Matt Dempsey. My name is Daniel Johan Maggi. My name is George Manusis. My name is Warren Roberts. My name is Chris Rocco. My name is Blake Lorette. Oh, my name is Rich Cruz. The only thing that would make me happy is to be champ, really, honestly. Like, some people, maybe if they become, you know, the runner or a contender, but honestly, nothing. If you're not, I don't know. If I was not champ, I wouldn't be happy. That's, I think that's a good positive attitude to have because if you're not the best, if you're not trained to be best, there's no reason to be here. You know, if you're not trying to be the number one champ, number one in the world, why be a fighter? You know, you always want to be the best. You know, they have to believe in themselves. And not only believe in themselves, they have to live a life like of a fighter, but if you, 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 if you go out every day and make party or don't train 100%, you will never get to this level. So what I say to them is train hard, believe in you, and do whatever you can to make your dream come true. Like me, I'm from Austria. It's I don't know how many miles it's in Europe. It's far away and I I did it. I was expecting uh honestly the first day I was expecting uh um I thought Vanderlei would probably try and break us as far as uh putting us through you know, you watch the videos with Vanderlei with the snorkel and all that stuff, and I'm going, okay, he's going to see who can, who can hang, you know, who can tough this out, right? So I came in the first day thinking he was going to try and just break us mentally, you know what I mean? Not necessarily beat us up. I knew uh, it wasn't going to be a who can beat up who. I mean, that's not how martial arts gyms work, but, you know, I think I, I thought it was going to be a test as far as how much, uh, how much you can take as far as endurance and, and all the rest of it. Who's got the heart to, to really uh, keep going? And, and we went through some of that. And I think that's a big part of fighting as well. You know, a lot of the training, you, <clears throat> you think, well, we're doing military press just to get stronger. We're doing uh, sit-ups just to get stronger abs. But no, you're testing your, your mind, right? To, to push your, your breaking point. You see it all the time in the ring. You know, where guys, um, especially as a fighter, you can see it because I've done it and I, I hope I never do it again. I did it my last fight. Um, but there comes a point where guys, where guys break. They actually, you know, um, you know, the blood's running down the back of your throat. You took a knee in the gut. You can't breathe. Um, and and there's, there's, a, there's a time in the ring there where some guys just, they want out, right? And I've been there, and I, and and I think by your training more um, than just building muscle or, or all that, you're building your resistance to quit. We go train some techniques, okay?
get cut in your eye, man. Tense. Real good, though. Tired as hell. It was not stopped, though, right? It's good. Good training. I'm dead. Five hours to rest, then we start again. Said. I mean, uh, uh, it depends how bad you want it. I mean, there's there's roadblocks with anything you do in life. So, if uh, if uh, if you let those get in your way, you know, I'm Canadian, I can't work here, or whatever. They're all excuses, right? If you want to be a fighter, if it's in your heart, then then you'll find a way, I guess. And hopefully, be able to just continue with it. You know, working full time and, and training, you know, six days a week. It's it's a rough ride, but you know, your body adapts to it after after years of doing it and it takes years to, to, to build up I think the the uh, the ability to take that that abuse as well as work I know when I first started I just couldn't do it you know two three days a week after work and uh, that was it but now I can do you know six you know I always take a day's rest at least but I go six hard days of work uh, <coughs> and uh, and six six days of training too in the evenings, so you know, and, and try and fit in a jog at, at lunch or wherever you can. A lot of thing, a lot of the things you can train in mixed martial arts are uh, are sh for short periods, right? It's a 15-minute fight, so you know, there's a lot of things you can do in a 20-minute workout in the morning before you go to work, maybe at lunch. I haven't maximized that, but there's always a way, so. And, and for me, as a coach, uh, anytime I look in the style of the fighter, and the, I don't look so much at the technique, like a, uh, who correct his, his kicks or his punches. I look in just his heart. I look at the guy's warrior, and the guy really wanted to train, the guy really wanted, wanted, to, wanted to, to be a professional, wanted to work hard, because for, one, for a new fighter, it's possible you give the technique, it's possible you give the cardio, it's possible you input the guy for a fight, for the guy to have opportunity for a fight, but maybe you give all for the guy and the guy don't have hard, you just lose the time. For me, the most important in one new fighter is his hard. Just this, you know, watching the first moment. Somewhere between now and never, my love has lost her way. The fields of green have gone forever, and all is gray. I'm, I'm game. Let's do this. Just keep pressing forward. You know, shit's always going to be rough through life. You know, it's, but you gotta, life is what you make it. And if you let this shit bog you down and hold you back, you never can reach your full potential, just keep pushing forward. Um, I know there's times where I've wanted to quit and just say, you know, fuck it, I'm done. Uh, I just want to take the easy road. It's not, 
It's not the best thing for you. Just keep pressing. If you have dreams, go for it. You know, no one can stop you but yourself. Don't listen to anybody, what they say. If they're trying to be negative to push you down and hold you back, don't listen to that. Just keep pressing because you can make it if you want to. If you really want to be there, you'll get there. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. You know, if you have a dream, you have a dream, you have a goal, go for it. Don't be scared to, of failing, because failing is what's going to make you a better person. Making mistakes is what's going to make you a smarter person, a wiser person, you know? Um, if you got a dream, go for it. Like me, I had no clue what I was going to do coming here, you know? Going up against 80 other guys or 70, I don't know how many guys, there's a lot of guys, a lot of tough guys, and you're going up against someone you don't even know, or competing, or trying to show or showcase your talent in front of other people that you don't even know and knowing you're coming to Vanderlei Gym, there's gonna be some tough guys here, you know? And, but me not having that fear and uh, just going for it and having that dream and, you know, that's, that's one thing, always dream, keep dreaming. Don't be scared, just go for it. Like, I'm here in the house with 10 other guys um, competing, training, um, you know, we all have the same dream and goals, and the only difference between us and everyone else is that we went for it. This is Mike, he's, a, he's a, the boxing coach. He's going to do the class for us today. This is the guys can uh, start to, 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 to can train for okay. 10 days. In these 10 days, the guys are going to fight. Okay. Like, uh, give the technique and look at the, the league of the guys. Here we're talking about the opponent guy. Okay? okay, no problem. Also, when you throw the punch, I always slip this way. I haven't been. Because you know what happens way. if okay this way if you slip this way that's good because it's my blind side you can come on the right hand here right throw right hand boom you can hit me right if if you slip that way if if you don't slip slip this side yeah right? if you stay there like this I'm gonna beat you all the time uh -huh. I'm gonna beat you like a 50 50 chance I'm gonna beat you so if you go to this side you gotta roll under so if I throw the right hand here yeah this side go or if you go this side you gotta make sure as soon as you slip you gotta pull the trigger see. Yeah. Oh, oh. Immediately, or most likely, when as soon as you lean, it's like this is not faster. You gotta be kind of careful for that. So the best solution I like you go this way. I like you going under. So okay. as soon as you go that side, right. you get back on the blind side. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch. Let's go. As a fighter, the most important lessons I learned was, I think, uh, patience. I think that's like the greatest uh, lesson to be a fighter because there's a lot of guys who are talented, uh, strong, fast, but they you know, quit before they reach their potential. A lot of life gets in the way, I call it. A lot of hardships come in. A lot of different things go on within your life to try to make you to stop training, stop competing, but you got to keep forging on. Then eventually you get your chance, you know? Then when you get your chance, you'll be ready for your chance, you know? So patience is like the biggest thing. I right, then. <laughs> that was fucking great. Legend. Unbelievable. What an experience. Good thing those weren't MMA gloves. <laughs> Let me give him one of these. <laughs> The, the, this camp is a uh, uh, really tough guy, you know. 
Vocês vão descobrir por um idade chegada, né? Solta mais sequência, tá defendendo ah. muito. Solta mais. Tô tentando ver o que você tá fazendo. Ah, vai, vai batendo, vai batendo, solta. We have a great group because we put 13 guys in the same home and there isn't this stuff because the guys eat and sleeping and stay in training in the same place all day, every day. And we are so lucky because we show we, we, we don't have problems for the 10 days because I talking for the guys, the rules, understand? Because we want to show the real, the real system of the martial arts is a discipline, is a training hard, is a you have a correct life, okay? You know, going to the parties, you know, drinking, okay? You know, for sure, you know, smoking, no nothing, no. And these are the real, the, the real, the real life of the fires around the world, and it, this is what we want to show for everybody in the world. So the quality of the guys are really good. And, uh, it's a great surprise because have the guys, the, the beginner to the close to the pro. It's, a, it's good I'm going to choose these guys for to train with me in these 10 days. Because it's good to train with different guys, everybody have the different techniques. And the really tough guys, see, I have 13, 10 really good guys. You guys want to have a surprise if the quality of the fight of these guys are going to make in the 10 days. Uh, for, for, for me, uh, starting to make a part of a team is, uh, is, uh, is incredible because I, everybody has friends in the life, but your, your team gives a support for you, for you, for you building your career. And the, my, my friend, I learned with a lot of the, 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 with my friends, and I learned a lot of the different coaches. And the, with, I use it just not just for fight, I use this in my life. And uh, because this, the, the fight, you know, is uh, just you train and go in your, you go in your home and it's done. No, fight is a lifestyle, you know, you change your clothing, you change your mind, you change your body. And uh, for me, it's a, it's a real, real, after I'm starting to make a part of a team, totally changed my life. Yeah, I don't know, man, like, after all this training, aren't you? I'm ready to jack some way up on set, uh, Monday, man. We're fighting Monday, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how I'm ready to fight, man. I tell you what. We're fight doing what Wanderley does before a fight. Yeah. Like he does this like three weeks before a fight. He spars like a, he has crowds there. Yeah, exactly. He has people in the crowds. They get you know they yeah. act like a UFC fight. They get an octagon and they. Good. Yeah. yeah. A lot of us like I gave up pretty much every left everything behind to come here. Yeah. Buddy over there. I can sold his car, moved here with like a few grand. Like it's like we're playing all in here, so I guess it's a chance of a lifetime. But what yeah. I do when you go home, I go back to uh, debt. Yeah. Uh, nothing home. Yeah. yeah, you only get one life, man. Nothing Why not make it the, make it your all? You know. Yeah. We're all from like all over the world, man. You're from Paris, right? Where are you Austria. from? Austria. Vienna, Austria. <laughs> Far away. Yeah. New Bro York. Bronx. Bronx. Where are you from? Calgary, Alberta. Well, Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan. Where are you? Calgary. Calgary. Oh, really? yeah. yeah. And where are you from? Connecticut. I'm from, uh, born in Delaware and live in Iowa now. There's 14 guys in the house, now we have 13 new buddies and yeah. connections. And 
whatever it is, it's going to be great. Yeah. It was supposed to be three rounds of conditioning, and we did four. Dude, I mean, yeah. So maybe yeah. we'll do seven <laughs> rounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five rounds, <laughs> seven rounds. <laughs> Sandra will come in and beat us up but on the fifth round. Think about that. We have, uh, well, we've, we've been eating hella good. We'll be training hall. You know, other people will be fighting. They're not going to be in the same situation as we are. We have a, we have an edge, man. You know, we have we been trained on you know week and a half hardcore eating good. And we have muscle and hardcore. Yeah, man, shit. That is yes, the truth. gym has to be a, like a family. The coaches help you all the time and want, want you to, to go better. And it's important to learn from the best. That's very important. Yeah, that's one of the reasons to come here to train. Just, I don't know, it's hard to explain, just makes you a better person in lots of ways. Just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> just, just the people around it and just get to love the sport and it just makes you just want to train a lot and makes you, I don't know, <laughs> it's just hard to explain. <laughs> No, I was just training like like at my cousin's house, working out, running. Then I was just gonna go to the camp in my well, not camp, the MMA in my town, but just decided to come here, just step up to the big, big league. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go now, let's right? Let's go, guys. You put the big gloves. Let's go. Let's enjoy MMA class. MMA class. Let's go. Hey. MMA gloves. Honestly, to be happy um, with like with fighting, um, being in the gym. Like I, I've told you before, if I don't go to the gym like within like three days, I start getting fucking crabby. You know, it's because I love to be in the gym, and you know I used to be 285 pounds, and I was, I was a big boy, and. Ever since my best friend got me into, you know, going to the gym and stuff like that, it's you'd be surprised how much it changes you. Your, your not just your physical, but your mental um, strength as well. You start looking good. You start feeling good. Uh, you start getting noticed by the ladies. You know, all that stuff. You know, it, it makes you feel good. Uh, so like. My goals in life is just to be happy. Uh, I would love to fight. I have a long career doing it. So 
just really anything to be happy. And being a champ. Just rest in my body, you know? So sore. Intense. You know? I knew it would be awesome. It's better. It's just being here with all the guys, it's like family, you know? Everyone's training hard, you know? Everybody in the house is training hard. Great coaches, too, you know? And even when they were kicking my ass, they were still helping me. You know what I mean? I'm just sort of bummed out I'm not in there right now, you know? The house is great, the food is great, the people, you know, a lot of love in the gym, you know. Good time, man, real good time. But uh, MMA, it's a great workout too, you know. You meet so many cool people, you know, all aspects of the world, so it's cool. No one's out here trying to kill each other either, you know. Everyone's teaching each other, helping, you know, giving tips, techniques. So it's good. Chance of a lifetime to get in the house, a bunch of guys from all over the world. You know, meet Vanderlei, meet the trainers, come see the facility. You know. And if I can't fight, I'm gonna end up teaching it. You know, so. You know, I like to fight for the next five years, and after that, train. I mean, uh, you know, teach. So, see what happens. I'm the oldest out of the bunch, you know. So, five years of fighting, and I like to, you know, teach afterwards. I trained hard for the last two or three months for the tryouts, and I made it. So, I paid off, you know. Definitely paid off. <laughs>